All right, this is a classic step one brain buster. We got an adult visiting Texas in the summer. It shows up with fever, tremor, and asymmetric flaccid paralysis. That should scream West Nile virus. It's a flavivirus that's transmitted by mosquitoes, um, especially the the Culex, the Culex species. And in the lymphocytic CSF, you'd see uh, RNA detection. And so you should watch out for trap answers like the sexual or respiratory transmission. We'll talk at, about some other answers you could see on test day. So we got a 72-year-old man with fever, tremor, confusion after visiting Florida. And a neurological exam shows flaccid paralysis, right arm, and CSF shows elevated protein. So what is the route of transmission? It's going to be a mosquito bite. That's going to be your neuroinvasive West Nile. And let's talk about some other trap answers that you might see. One is sexual contact. That would be HSV. Um, that would cause encephalitis, not asymmetric paralysis with a tremor. Respiratory droplets, that could be like mumps or adenovirus or, uh, or varicella. That can cause meningitis, but not, not usually paralysis. Blood transfusions, that could be possible for CMV, EBV, and HIV, but not the typical route for West. Tick bites, that would be like your Lyme uh, or RMSF, and so it's not going to be very consistent with this presentation. So the big thing is asymmetric flaccid paralysis, fever, and a tremor, maybe visiting like Texas. Um, yeah, hopefully this is a good little question for you. If you liked it, like it, subscribe.